Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Muhammad Khalid Zishan representing Group E in today's uh, presentation. Uh, we are eternally uh, grateful to our facilitator, Mr. Kenan Diklitash, for enlightening us with his valuable experience and wonderful motivation. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Uh, we are thankful to our group mentor, Ms. Samira Malik, for her uh, continuous guidance. I'm also thankful to uh, Mr. Tunjab Jan for sparing uh, his valuable time for us. Sir, uh, we have heard a lot about you. I wish I had the opportunity to learn from you, uh, hopefully in future, inshallah. Inshallah, when these vaccinations we take, Patrick uh, Marif promised to take me to Pakistan and then to do some sessions face to face, inshallah. And inshallah. then we might have the chance to meet and then to share more time together. Thank you. Inshallah. Looking inshallah. forward to that, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and last but not the least, uh, the wonderful participants of Group B from different cities and campuses who joined hand, uh, hands together, uh, shared their experiences and knowledge and are now presenting this garland of knowledge before you. Uh, here are the team members. Um, the topic that was assigned to us was uh, what are the key issues actively discussed in the course which will inform, influence and improve our leadership practices in our own school context. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, our presentation is a combination of various flowers put together to make a garland. I'll be sharing one of uh, these flowers and that is self-development. Uh, Self-development um, is a wonderful thing. Like before this uh, uh, course started, there were certain questions in my mind. Uh, those questions were that what are the things I'm lacking as a leader? Ideally, how should I treat my staff? What is the role of parents in education? How can I improve myself as a leader? This course in general and Mr. Kenan in particular led the way for us to find the answers of these questions. Hence, the points I'll be discussing today are my takeaways from this course. Uh, first of all, um, by developing ourselves, we can develop others. You know, uh, self-development is very much important in life. Uh, we have been practicing uh, this uh, self-development at our campus and uh, you know there was this extension TDP I mean it was a wonderful initiative by Patrick Marif and now this SLDP is a next level uh, thing in this regard and we are looking forward to more such initiatives uh, in future. Now we will learn from these uh, professional development programs and then later on we'll be uh, uh, developing our staff for this purpose. Uh, for personal development, we need to understand personal internal dynamics. Uh, there are a few questions that come to our mind that uh, who is this person? How does he feel? How does he approach personal and professional issues? Uh, this gave me an opportunity to reflect upon my earlier practice and I decided to study my staff individually, humanly and a bit more closely. Personal development actually is a combination of various skills that a leader must have. Now, what are those skills? These skills are personal skills, communication skills, team skills, facilitation skills, a skill in managing the cultural level. I'll be actually discussing uh, these skills one by one, not just discussing, actually I'll be sharing more of my experience before and after uh, this course. Uh, the personal skill. Uh, personal skill is more of a self-realization. Uh, as we study ourselves, uh, again, various questions arise in our mind. Uh, what do we do outside our school? Uh, what do we do in our normal life? How are we understanding in life? How is that connected to our professional life? I mean, uh, I would like to share uh, one thing. Mr. Kenan, in one of his sessions, he mentioned that we should have um, eight hours of work then eight hours of sleep, and then eight hours for our socializing and uh, relaxing. Uh, well, looking forward to that, and after uh, hearing from him, I'm trying to put things in order as far as my life is concerned. Then uh, next is uh, communication skills. Communication is key to development. Um, every, uh, no one can um, deny the importance of communication. We must strive for 100% communication at our schools. Uh, we must minimize the barriers that are there in communication 
and uh, though we have been using various platforms the social media is there you know whatsapp facebook twitter we are using all these social media platforms to reach out to our parents to our students to even our staff but we must uh, you know uh, improve it further uh, mr kenan in one of the sessions he pointed out that uh, we should uh, reach out to our parents with a purpose you know uh, instead of discussing uh, their child's progress we should reach out to the parents and ask them to share their valuable thoughts about improving uh, the classroom structure uh, improving the quality of education i mean this this will be a wonderful thing to do um, when you uh, team up it actually improves the communication and when you have a communicative environment it will help you develop the facilitation skills as well um having team skills is a key element of uh, personal development you know uh, you have to team up with your students you have to team up with your uh, teachers the teachers need to team up with the uh, students they need to team up with the parents you know uh, this will actually help us align uh, our uh, vision and it will actually um, uh, put us on the same trail same track you know therefore uh, this uh, teaming up skills are very much important if you are um, a leader the more teams you form the more development you'll see in multiple um, ways um, we have various teams in our uh, schools um, there are students uh, teams as well there are uh, teachers teams there are leaders to, uh, with students teams but still there is a lot to be done i wish there is one team of students uh, who could decide about um, the ways they want to learn instead of the teachers designing the way they should teach them you know our students they are the 21st century students they have a lot with them we are 20th century teachers uh, 20th century people rather um, so we should learn from our students as well we should give them the opportunity to design their own classroom uh for future uh, like i mentioned earlier we need to have a uh, better collaboration with parents we must team up with them uh, in order to uplift the level of education uh, for teaming up uh, one of the most important aspect is to minimize the power and the problem uh, driven attitudes uh, how can we um, eradicate these kinds of attitudes which are the barrier towards form uh, towards team building these can be eradicated if we listen to the people if we start listening to our staff if we start listening to our students if we start listening to our parents this will actually minimize uh, our uh, 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 power and the problem driven attitudes and the more we listen to them the more it will align them towards uh, the vision we must care uh, for the people we must connect to the people uh, celebrate the important occasions i've been trying to uh, do this at my school celebrating the birthdays of my staff uh, you know celebrating the birthdays of the students even uh, attending the funerals of the uh, family members of the staff the students you know these kind of things though maybe smaller for us but they mean a lot to other people and actually it connects us with them we must uh, listen to our uh, the people around us the parents the students and the teacher and we must spend time uh, with those people uh once we do that we will adopt the vision driven attitude so instead of having some problem driven attitudes we'll have more of vision driven attitudes and uh, this will actually uh, build our teams this will reduce the problems that we face as leaders and as organization you know achieving uh, alignment between thoughts feelings and actions will result in everyone performing at their peak level now i'll request ma'am uh, bushra shah to please uh, take it for